Year after year, we've seen the damage. Here's New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. In 2012, New Jersey saw the wrath of Superstorm Sandy. And then there's Florence, once again aimed at the East Coast. But here's a question. Why does it seem like these hurricanes are always going after the East Coast and not the West Coast? That's our why of the day. Why do hurricanes form more in the Atlantic than the Pacific? Well, I spoke with a meteorologist. It turns out that the big factor here is the ocean current, the movement of the water. You see, on the West Coast, we have something called the California Current. This one flows north to south, and that keeps the water temperatures much cooler. We're talking mid-60s on average. And this is just not hot enough to let a hurricane grow. You see, hurricanes feed on the heat in the water, and without it, they'll surely fall apart. Then there's the East Coast, and that's where we find a very different current, the Gulf Stream. Unlike the California Current, this one goes south to north, which makes the water much warmer. In fact, we're talking mid 80s typically, which is more than hot enough to allow a hurricane like Florence to grow. So that's why hurricanes form more in the Atlantic than the Pacific. All right, so we want to continue to answer more of these why questions about Hurricane Florence. In about a half hour, I look into the Saffir Simpson scale. That's what ranks a hurricane between category one and category five. Where did it all start and what exactly do those numbers mean? That's coming up in about a half hour. Reese? All right, looking very forward to that, Evan. Thanks a lot.